One of the things that we do once we've downloaded our videos and made them is that we want to shrink them down to a much more manageable level. For example, if we look here, the OBS config video is 128 meg. So you can check in the bottom there, or if you right click it, you can go into properties and that will then tell you how big it is. This is too large to upload into the Moodle system. So what we want to do is we want to download Handbrake. Notice it works for all platforms. So if I click here on other platforms, Mac, Windows, and Linux, we have it. Download it, double click the installer, clicks next, 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 and finished. You might be prompted to download the .NET 8 update. That's perfectly fine. Download it, same kind of deal. Next, next, finish. Then from there, load up Handbrake. Now this particular uh, source selection gives you the ability to do a selection of folders full of videos or just a particular file and you can drag and drop. So from here, what we'll do is we'll drag this file into here. This is now Handbrake. What it does is it's going to compress this file for us. So to choose what we want, we go into presets, come down to very fast 720p make sure you know where it's going okay so we're just going to put a hyphen with a hb at the end of it so we make sure we get a different video to what we had before we're going to add it to the queue so now as you can see it's in the queue here we then hit start queue and now all we do is we just wait for the encoding to happen and as you can see from the little green bar down here it's not taking too long at all. So we're looking at approximately 20 seconds here. Now, inside here, if you want, you can add subtitles, you can break things into chapters. You can do a large amount of different types of video encoding. The basic one works perfectly fine. Now that it's done, let's take a look. So here's the OBS HB one. We right click, let's go to properties. As you can see, this has now dropped the video to 6.96 meg. So we've saved 122 meg in size. So let's take a quick look at the original. So over one here. of the things that we normally do is when we have to do uh, recordings of videos. Looks good. We'll let's check the trial. compressed version. So one of the things that we normally do. As you can do see, looks just as well. Do, uh, Once you've got that done, you then compress your video as required. 